Hello, this is Jan from Red Toad Art Studio, and today we are going to paint the daisies that we drew in part one of our daisy series. And this will be part two, painting our daisies in watercolors. We're going to take you step by step from the very beginning of what you should do. We should activate our paints, and this time I'm using my good old trusty Crayolas. Yes, you may wonder why I use these so much, but this is what a lot of people have. And I want to show them that they can use them to make some beautiful pictures, and you don't have to spend a fortune. I will be using other paints through this series, but I want to show you that if you have these, they will work just fine for you. So we need to activate our paints just a little bit. One way to do that, if you're going to use several colors, is to spritz it with a spray bottle. Now, on this one, I'm just going to use what, one, two, four, five colors. I don't need to get them all wet. So, in that case, often I just use an eyedropper and put a couple drops in there. And I will start to activate several of the colors I know I'm going to be using. All right, we'll let that set a second or two, maybe a minute or two. Now we want to mix a few colors, not necessarily mix. We're going to dilute some colors with water. And again, I'm going to use my dropper and just put, oh, three or four drops down there. It's not going to take much. You see a little color coming. I had this color mixed up earlier. It's such a pretty violet color. Do one more drop. I want to get some um, green ready. So we'll do some green here. Let's see if that's enough for now. Now, you've probably seen us mix before. Just take your brush, dip into your pan of watercolor, and bring it over to your little petal. And bring it in until it is the color you like. Now remember, watercolor also dries lighter than what it looks like while it's wet. Be sure and have a test piece of paper at hand to see if that's dark enough. I may add just a little bit more there. This is for our daisy petals. Daisies come in all colors. If you look online, they're, they're white. They're a lavender color. They are reddish, they're yellow, they're orange, they're just all kinds of colors. So pick a color you like and let's just go for it. So we're just going to paint our petals with that. Before we actually paint though, let's tape our picture down. We should have done that a little earlier. And sometimes if you have thick paper, you can get by without taping it down. But often we'll get little wrinkles in it as we're working, and a part will come up, and a part will wrinkle, and then it won't lay straight, but it's wet and hard to get to lay down. So it's just a precaution for this one to tape it down, and then we don't have that problem later. Now later when we get it in wet on wet, there will be definite reasons we tape it down, but we're not going to worry about that with this one. We're not doing a wet on wet. We're just painting right on our dry piece of paper. There are so many methods and ways of doing things in watercolor. And this time we're just going to paint wet on a dry piece of paper. There we go. So very simply, we're just going to come in and paint our petals. And don't worry if you go over the line. We kind of like to let watercolor do its thing. That's the magic of watercolor. You can't over control it. You can try, but it will do its thing regardless. So we should just let it do its thing, enjoy it, and see what it comes up with. Very often, it comes out better than what it would have if we'd have done what we wanted. Isn't that funny? Okay. This doesn't take very long to paint. 
kind of staying with a pastel look. It's spring after all. And if you have little puddles, tiny little puddles in your paint, let the darkest area be up around the uh, yellow part here, which will be up around this middle area here. Petal. Just going to kind of, as much as we can, corral the extra paint up here in the middle. Now let's move on to our flower down here and do the same. Now if you want to add a little more shadowy look, you can go into the pan directly and add a little bit darker pigment here towards the center and it will give it a shadowed look. Not a lot, just barely dip the tip of your paintbrush in that and it will give it a little more shadowed look. And it will do different depending on how much this is dried or how much water you have in your brush. Just experiment and kind of let it be. All right, now let's clean our brush off. This is my water up here, in case you wonder what I'm going up there to do. And now, let's mix some green for our leaves. I think what I'm going to do is do the kind of middle green that um, Crayola has. And I need to add a little water, so let's add a little water to it here. And... Come down and add some to our water down here. This is almost like a grass green. See what that's looking like. Maybe just a tad darker. And there is a darker green here yet that we can use for shadows if we want to do that. All right. Now, we don't want to come up onto this purple with the green. We want to be sure that that's dry enough that it won't move into it. So why don't we paint our leaves first? Just come in here and... And if it's a little bit uneven and going on, that's okay because it will give a little variation in our colors. We can steal a little bit from that puddle. Come right over here. Now these are very pastel. If you want them darker, just add paint or go straight into your pan to get a darker green. Do what you want to do because this is your daisy picture. And just try several different things. These are so easy and so fast. You can try a bunch of methods and find out how you like it. And what colors you like. Got our leaves there. Now, why don't we just gently dip into our dark green back here. Check to be sure that's the color you want. And you can just add a little bit of shadow into your leaves while that's wet.
It always looks so much nicer to have a little bit of a color variation because that's the way nature is. And just kind of dot those in there and they will take care of themselves. There we go. Yes, I like that. Now let's come down the stem with our green that we added some water to. So we'll do our other stem. Now, I think I mentioned I'm using watercolor paper. Perhaps I forgot that at the beginning. I'm using watercolor pe paper. This is a six by about nine, and I'm using a number five My Artscape brush. Now, I am going to dip into that dark or green, that darker green again. Come up here and add a little bit where shadows would be. And just let it kind of move out into that wet paint. It should still be wet and the green will just kind of soften along the edges and that's what we want. We're coming along here one side with a little bit of the dark green and doing that on both of these. And that creates our shadow. We're about done. I think this should be dry enough now to do our yellows. So clean your brush. Dip into the pan of yellow so you get a nice strong yellow. You notice when you dip out of your pan, if you haven't added too much water, you're getting a more pigmented paint and it gives you a darker color. And when we want lighter colors, we add water over here in our mixing pan. Now we're just going to dab that yellow on. It's very wet. That's okay. If your purple had dried, it will work just fine. We need so little of this. There we go. There's our yellow. And... Let's add a little bit of grass here at the bottom. We didn't draw grass in, but we can paint grass in. I am going to take out of my pan. I'm going to get a little bit. Be sure your brush is pointed. And this is a round brush, which I am sure I did not mention earlier. And we're just going to whisk up and make grass strands. See how easy it is to make grass with the paint. Now I do want some different colors of grass in here. I'm going to go to the dark now and do just a little bit back there from the dark. And now we're going to go to our lightest green, which I have not activated. I need to put a drop there. And just do a few light greens. It won't show much because you're going over the other green. But enough. And there we go. Let's sign our painting by dipping into one of the darker colors. Let's go into this dark purple here. I'm going to sign it right here. I'm going to put my initials and the year. There we go. Now, you have a plain white background. We're going to get into backgrounds later. How to make, um, well, let me show you this one. Pretty beautiful marbled backgrounds. We will do that on another video because this is quite the process much different this is a wet on wet process so we will need to go through that and it makes beautiful backgrounds now if this is really bothering you that we don't 
that we don't have a good background on here. You can activate a little bit of the baby blue you have on here, which makes a fairly good sky. Let's see what we can do. All right, my battery died on me, and you missed the last of my putting some blue around my picture. I put some blue around, and I used my paper towel to dab a little bit to give somewhat the look of clouds. But that was it, though, so I hope you've enjoyed painting your daisies, and I hope you try this with different colors and all kinds of ways. Just play and have fun. And for now, I'm going to say goodbye. I will be seeing you in our next video, which will most likely should be part three of our daisy series. So we'll see you later. Bye-bye.